for joining us today. Uh, my name is Steve Dange and I'm chair of the Marquette Board of Directors. On behalf, on behalf of the entire Marquette organization, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us today. With the support of the mayor, who will be speaking in just a minute, and many of our honored elected representatives who are with us here today, Marquette staff and community members, we thank you and are excited about the opening of this new building. This building will house our innovation learning activities, the operations center, and conduct training activities. And you know, Marquette has been part of the community for over 100 years. But today, more than ever, people are choosing Marquette for their banking needs. With that growth, Marquette has recently exceeded $1 billion in assets. That enables Marquette to give back to the community with investments like this new building that we see here today. So whether it's a residential mortgage or a commercial business banking loan, we thank you for choosing Marquette. We truly believe local decision making, the latest technology, and friendly service make a difference in empowering our customers. We continue to see ourselves as the hometown bank. Before I hand over the podium to Michael Edwards, our longtime chief executive officer, I wanted to take a minute to recognize one of our board members. Today, many of us attended the funeral of Leo Brueger, who recently lost his battle against cancer. Leo worked tirelessly for many years as a board member of Marquette. He would be so proud of the growth we celebrate here today. But he also gave back to the community and so many who were in need in his own quiet, unassuming way. So to his wife, Teresa, and the family members attending today, we offer our sincere condolences. But as I'm sure Leo would want, let us continue today's celebration, recognizing Marquette's investment in Erie. So here is our CEO, Michael Edwards. Thank you, Steve. Wow, it seems like a long time ago when we were at the offices of Weber Murphy Fox doing a virtual tour of the new building. Two years later, here we are after we overcame the challenges that the pandemic presented. And we're happy to be here open today. There are a number of folks that are involved with this project that I'd like to recognize. I'd like to start with the team at Weber Murphy Fox for their, and thank them for their design work and their oversight on this project. Uh, Rich Spiker. Rich, Jenna Druzak, is Jenna here? And Sarah Ludwig. Uh, we've worked together on almost a dozen projects over the years, but this one was certainly the most challenging. I also want to thank our general contractor and the team at Consonite and Bible and the many subcontractors that were on this project. We want to thank Paul Considine, Eric Cunningham, Jerry Bible, who retired partway through the project, but he got us through the foundation work. And Andy Resinger. The team at Constantine and Bible, they built and delivered a quality building, and a building that will serve us well into the future. Also want to extend a special thank you to Tom Tapitz and the folks at the Knox Law Firm for allowing us to stage construction equipment and our trailers on their property. Uh, delaying the completion of their parking lot for something like six months, so we really appreciate them doing that for us. And last but not least, I wanted to thank our very own facilities manager, Tony Farrar, who has been immersed in this project over the last two years, along with our building committee led by Don Seaver. Don? I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome our new tenants, Sam and Cindy Ring, owners of the Main Street Cakery Cafe, to their new downtown satellite location right here in our Innovation Learning Center. So welcome, Sam and Cindy. And they'll be serving the food breaks tonight. So we're really pleased with the results, and we think the new building adds a lot to the Peach Street Corridor. In fact, the entire area around 10th and Peach looks great, with the completed projects of VNet, the Knox Law Firm in Gannon. It's exciting to be expanding and investing in our downtown. Thank you. And now we have the mayor. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Steve. Uh, it's uh, really my honor to be here. Uh, it's really great. This is the virtual meeting. We're actually face to face. And I've seen some people that I haven't seen in a long time, and it's, it's really good to be doing this again. So I really 
really, really want to congratulate Marquette Savings Bank for what they've accomplished here. It's very impressive. Uh, it, it's very neat and it definitely has transformed this corridor and made it a better place for, for everyone here. Mm -hmm. uh, I really appreciate the fact that you also recognize that you're kind of taking part in Erie's master plan, which is called Erie Refocus, by doing things like this. You mentioned that in your write-up, and I really, really appreciate you mentioning that. And I'll also mention that they spent eight and a half million dollars to make this happen. Uh, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? Very, a very nice place. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to turn the microphone over to James Garkey. James. Thank you both for this beautiful new addition to our community. One of the great perks of being the CEO of a chamber is um, other people do really hard work. They put their feet, all their money and time and investment, and I get to come along and cut a ribbon. So I really want to thank the board uh, of trustees and Mike's leadership for the continued investment in Erie's downtown. We're really proud to be a part of it ourselves. We've relocated ourselves into the downtown so we can be part of the vibrancy of our community. And with that, I just want to thank you for this. And I think we have scissors to cut the ribbon. So I'm going to get... Kathy, come on up. Kelly, come on up. Is John, John and Julie, John, Del, Julie. 